See, I told you we were going to get into my kitchen, all right, and do something. And yes, this is little pieces of sausage in water. I'm going to put this in the microwave and heat it up. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. So now I have this heated up in the microwave. And I know you guys are looking at me like, what are you doing, Susie? Well, remember the sugar-free maple brown sugar oatmeal that was give, gifted to me? Well, we're going to uptick this. And we're going to add sausage to it. And we're going to let this reconstitute with that. And this is going to be my breakfast this morning. Quick, easy, simple meal that has protein in it. Here we go. I'll bring you back. Hey everyone, we're back in my kitchen. And one of the things that I got um, in that grocery haul was, I'm looking for it back here in the background while I'm talking to you guys was a bag of I got it um, an Asian style salad and I know myself and one of the things that I know about myself is that I need to when I get things like this I need to get in here and get it made up quickly and the reason is because if it's made up, then I will eat it. Okay? And so, we're going to get in here and we're going to get this Asian style chopped salad kit made. Put in the refrigerator. And ready for my meal coming up. So, basically, it is this. It's a kind of a, a slow. Okay. And then I'm looking to see. Mm. All right. Here's the thing about this. These are crispy, and I want to keep them crispy. So what I'm going to do? I'm thinking this out. Yes. I'm going to go ahead, put this on it, and get this kind of marinating in there, but I'm going to save those, and those will be put on the individual bowls of salad, bowls of, um, yeah, individuals to keep them crispy, okay? So, we're going to get this kind of marinating in there. Okay. All right. And, like I said, I'm, let me put that in a little bag. I'm going to take these, put them in here, and get this where it needs to go. So this is a reusable one. You know what? It's not gonna work, but I'm gonna go it because it's um I had something on it. So I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna wash that. So 
Yeah, those things happen. So that's going to be something that I hand wash. But let's see what else I have in here. Here we go. This will work. Sure will. These are bags that I've had in. had up in my cover for years, okay, and they need to get used up. So this is what we call a double zipper snack bag, and so I'm just going to pour these right in here, just like that, okay, it's double zipper, so I'm going to go ahead and zip it up, there we go, and now, Drop that down in there. And now my salad is ready to go. I got that done. Today. I'm getting things done today. Yes, I am. I'll bring you back. Hey, everyone. I want to let you guys know that I really want to be a good steward of the food that was sent to me. And so I am going to process these green beans really quick. Get some of them cooked up for my meal for later today. I think I'm going to make some of them to go with my Swedish meatballs as a side. Okay. And then some of them I'm going to put into the freezer. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to snap these green beans Okay, and put them in here, just like this. And I'm snapping the tips off of them and making them, and snapping them, you know, like you would find in uh, frozen green beans, okay? So you guys come along as I snap green beans. Mm -hmm. Used to do this on the farm all the time. When the green beans would come in, we would sit down as a family and snap them all together. <clears throat> Everyone would have a bowl. So tell me some of the ways you guys prepared green beans, okay? I know for us, growing up, we, um, we did a lot of kind of cooking them the traditional American way, um, with a little, you know, maybe bacon, Maybe some ham, whatever we had like available. Um, yeah, and then we like we boiled them on the stove. <laughs> okay, that's the way I usually have had them in the past. I'm not. I'm probably sure that there's other ways you can make it. Pretty sure there are, but this is basically how we did it growing up. Mm. We would spend hours doing this. Don't even have to look at what I'm doing. Get so many of these. Yep. We 
did a lot of like canning these and, fro and freezing them. I'm not going to can them. What I'm going to do, I prefer the frozen ones myself. I do have canned ones. I didn't use canned ones. But I prefer the frozen ones. And the fresh ones. I do make fresh ones as well. I'm going to do some of that today. I've been looking through the ingredients that I got from the grocery haul and coming up with some ideas for making food, some food, okay? And with the things that I got, but I don't have all the ingredients yet on some of the uh, recipes that I'm pretty sure that they uh, were meant for, okay? So I might end up having to do a grocery haul in the next couple of days um, and have it delivered to my house because I need eggs and half and half and I'm trying to think of what else should I need. Um, milk. I need milk. Fresh milk. I have, you know, on the shelf, shelf stable milk, but I don't have any fresh milk. Um, the staples that I usually use. to get to them right away. I'm glad you guys are coming along with me today. It's so much more fun to do these chores with you guys. It is. of you guys um, snap green beans from our garden. This brings back memories for sure.
this is so much fun coming along. You coming along with me, getting these things done. I do have my laundry going today. I have been quite productive. I got some bathrooms cleaned up today. And my laundry is going. And I got these green beans done. I got a salad put together. So yeah, I'm being quite productive today. I'm sitting on my my bottom end <laughs> doing nothing uh, it's real easy as you know somebody who's retired to just kind of sit and do nothing it's real easy to do that but it's really not good for us as well so <clears throat> we have to keep busy and do what we can And just keep moving. And we do. That was a lesson my dad taught me. My dad was pretty sick the last, I don't know, seven or eight years of his life. But the one thing that he said was, you gotta keep moving because the minute you stop moving, So, I remember that message from him. We gotta keep moving. Even if it's snapping green beans. Even if it's snapping green beans. This viewer is helping me eat kind of the way I want to eat with the fresh vegetables. And putting up my own produce instead of using the canned goods that you get sometimes from the food bank. This is the way I was hoping to move towards. But it does take work to do this. But you know what? I've got nothing but time. Time and a camera on my, on my phone. Okay. <laughs> nothing but time and a camera on my phone. That's all I need.
we're getting there. We're almost done. We're going to see how much we get out of this bag of beans. To rest for a minute. The stand in here can be hard. Can be hard on your legs because you're, you know, you're pushing your legs to hold yourself up. So I do believe I'm probably going to get a couple of pints out of here, a frozen fresh green bean. Okay. It's so much fun when I do it with you guys. It is so much fun. so much <laughs> it's so encouraging to me for you guys to be here with me what a true blessing just to have you guys watch my videos This one actually had string on it. Sure did. The other ones pretty much had no strings on it. That's another thing, was that growing up snapping green beans, sometimes they were called string beans for a reason. They had a string on them. You had to watch for. Almost done here. Almost. Let me get these last few out of here. Okay.
And look at that, out of the whole bag, only one. We only lost one out of the whole bag. We did good. So far. I guess I'll find it shortly. Almost there. Yeah. I decided today I was going to leave the camera on so you guys can see how long it takes to snap a bag of beans. I could make it really short for you guys and say, you know, I'll come back when I'm done. But no. Today I wanted to bring you guys along. Five more beans and we'll be done. Yep. Here we go. All right, beans are done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run some water over them, get them washed up. They weren't, they weren't dirty, okay? That was one of the things that I was looking for to see how dirty they were, and they were pretty darn clean. So there we go. We have them washed. Now I'm going to let this sit and drain for a while, and I will bring you guys back once it's drained for about 15 to 20 minutes. Bringing you guys in to show you that I took and divided these up into three and it made just a little bit over a quart, two cups, okay, in each batch. And so I am coming in, I've already labeled them, and I'm coming in and A second seal on it just for good measure so both the top and the bottom are double sealed for my freezer and I have two that are going into the freezer and one that's already on the stove. Yep, already there. Give it a 
second seal. Just for good measure. Okay, so now those green beans was enough to make me three sides. Okay, two for later, one for today. And here's the green beans that are getting cooked up right now. was is I put two cups in each bag plus two cups in there and then divided what was left over between the three so this I'm gonna let this cook up and this is gonna be I'll show you how I'm gonna use this um, when we get when we come back hey I'm bringing you in we are gonna make myself a sandwich here And remember the avocado ranch? That's what I'm gonna use as my sauce for my sandwich. Okay, today. And I'm just gonna put a little bit because I want it to last for a while. This stuff is good, by the way. It really is. There we go. I am going to add. Some of this sliced turkey. I'm trying really hard to make this last but I love sandwich meat okay <laughs> and uh, I can just snack on it and so uh, it's funny I laugh at myself about certain things <laughs> I'm gonna get me some tomato and slice some tomato on it I'm looking at all the different things that I can put on this sandwich. So let me get me a knife. tomatoes that she got me. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to use some of those tomatoes on the sandwich. Right there. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and slice these up since I'm here. Alright, 
getting things done today. We sure are. Remember this kessel? Let's spread a little of this kessel on the other side of this bread. Just a little bit. That will be my cheese on this uh, sandwich. Not much, just a little bit. It's going to add a little pop to it as well. Mm -hmm. There we go. a little of these banana peppers on here. Oh. Love me some banana peppers on my sandwiches. Just a couple, okay? And while I'm here, I'm going to take this. Yeah. And Cut these in slivers. There we, go. we got one of those bell peppers on the side. find a teeny tiny pickle in there somewhere. A small one. Yeah, we can have a little pickle there. Okay. These are dill gherkins. Love these things. this slaw on here. Why not? Here we go. Why not? There we go. That, my friends, is going to be my lunch today. Something that I already made for myself, which is the Swedish meatballs, mashed potatoes, 
And remember the green beans that I made earlier today? This is what I wanted it for. I wanted it as a side to go with this. And this I'm going to put in the... I'm going to put it in my microwave and I'll bring you back when it is heated up and I have everything put together. Here's my dinner for tonight. A little bit of that Asian salad with the crispies on top. We've got Swedish meatballs with uh, mashed potatoes and cut green beans that is fresh. And that is what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming along with me today. Um, I am going to leave playlists at the end of this video for you guys. If you like what you see today and you want to help support the channel and see what I'm up to, um, go back and watch the playlist. I try to make it very easy for you guys to go back and watch different videos. I also want to thank Mint Mobile for sponsoring today's video. You guys be blessed because I know I'm blessed. You guys bless me each and every day.